welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and another weekly food haul. I have shaken things up a wee bit this week. We went to Asda for the majority of our shopping, but not the meat. We decided to go to our local butcher for our meat this week, and I'll show you that at the end. And also, rather than getting our potato type sides, we got something a bit different as well. So I thought I would show you what we got this week. Let's start with the fruit and veg. Fruit wise, Jack got a net of medium oranges. I've been right in the mood for apple, but I've got no teeth. So I decided to get some Granny Smith apples and I'm going to grate them and eat them like that. I should be able to eat them like that. And they look quite tasty. And I've really been fancying fruit, so I thought fruit and yogurt might be the thing. So I got some, I got three pots of the melon and the grapes, because that's all the, the dates would allow. Jack's been having fruit for his lunch for a wee change, so he got three packs of the apple, grapes and cheese, which does actually look lovely. And he got two of the big packs of the melon and grapes, so his are the 400 grams for £1.50, and mine's are the 160 grams for 90 pence because I wouldn't eat more than that. I got a pack of bananas. Veg. We got a pack of the carrot and sugar snap peas and broccoli. I think that just goes in the microwave. Yep, goes in the microwave. My kind of food. We got two packs of the carrots, cauliflower and broccoli. Again, that gets put in the microwave. And one pack of the Mediterranean style vegetables. It goes in the oven, but this one pack does two days um, because it serves two and I won't have it. So it will do jack for two days. And a punnet of mushrooms. So that was all the fruit and veg. On to the only main meal type thing that we got. Well, no. The only chilled meal type thing that we got was Brooke's Feaster's Cheeseburger, the microwave plastic burger that she likes, and a frozen cheese and tomato pizza. And she's got other bits and pieces in the freezer already. Now, Abby isn't eating with us this week, or she might be, but now that the restrictions are these, she doesn't know when she's going to be here and when she's not. So she's going to be eating from the freezer this week. We're fed up making our meals and are not eating them. <laughs> Right, on to the dairy. Like I said, I was fancying fruit and yoghurt, so I got a pack of the Luscious Lemon Greek style Muller Light yoghurt, so 0% added sugar. They are 72 calories a pot. And I got a pack of the same, but with the strawberry, sublime strawberry, and they're 75 calories a pot. We got three um, two pint bottles of semi skim milk. And Jack got his baby bell cheese for snacking. Right, that's everything that was chilled. I'll put that away and come back to you with the covered items. Right, covered items. Bread wise, I got the Asda Extra Special Super Seeded Sliced Loaf. I love this. I'm not really a bread person, but I've really been enjoying some toast with cheese on this um, Super Seeded Sliced Loaf. And it's only like 70 pence or something. It's really, really nice. I got Brooke's usual King's Mill 50-50 bread. It was funny, we couldn't get it last week. Jack just did a quick top-up shop in Morrison's. So he got white bread and Brooke came in from school and went, what was that bread? So it's unusual that she wasn't particularly liking the white bread and prepared the 50-50. There you go. Um, also got her croissants because she alternates between a sandwich and croissants for her lunch. Cereals, I got some Asda Raspberry Wheaties, I love them, and Brooke wanted cornflakes again, so we've got another big box of cornflakes. Right, now the side dishes that I was talking about, instead of getting our usual crispy potato slices and sweet potato fries and things like that, we wanted to go for something a little bit healthier. So we got two packs of Uncle Ben's whole grain rice, it's only whole grain rice that's in there. Um, the only other alternative was brown rice that you boil yourself but that isn't as good as whole grain rice we got uncle ben's roasted garlic rice because again it's only rice and garlic that's in that and dead easy so much easier than boiling it we got these to try i've not tried these before barbecue beans microgreen and it's a source of fiber and protein again it goes in the microwave for two minutes and it has got green lentils kidney beans green peppers, 
cooked chickpeas, tomato puree, onions, sweet corn, smoked paprika, things like that. Yeah, it has got some sugar and things in it, but generally it's full of fibre and protein, so we thought that would be a really good side dish. And also, similar, we got the Cajun quinoa microgreen, so it's high in fibre and a source of protein as well. That has got cooked quinoa, cooked green lentils, cooked red quinoa, red pepper, red onions, and the rest is just bits and pieces, spices and nasties. But again, it's good fibre, so we'll try them and see what we think of them. Um, just again, just mixing it up a wee bit, and it's a wee bit healthier. Jack's more into his running again, and so he's wanting higher protein. Right, I was needing brown sauce. I love the Gold Star brown sauce. That's what they use in the chip shops up here. The olive oil spray. This is similar to Fry Light, but it's not chemicals. It's just olive oil, and I love it. A couple of sprays does you. The last one that we had has actually gone out of date. We've had it that long, so it lasts for ages. We were needing tomato sauce, so we got the big one because it was the best deal. This is the 800ml and it was definitely cheaper um, per mil or per gram, whatever it is, than the smaller bottles. I got some more of the milk chocolate flavour spread. If you've watched my vlog from today, you'll know we got a massive big jar of Nutella in Costco, but I still had to get this as well because Brooke isn't allowed Nutella at school. It has to be a milk chocolate spread because they're not allowed nuts. And, oh, I've just realised I've been shown the microwave. Sorry, folks, if that was flickering. Um, and I got a tin of Ambrosia Devon custard because we got a lovely, wait till I show you. At Costco today, we got this. It's an oh, apple crumble loaf cake, and it looks amazing. And I thought that would be perfect with some custard. Anyway, I digress. Right, drinks and treats now. And we didn't need an awful lot in the way of drinks because, like I said, we were at Costco today. So we got a big slab of 24 cans of Cherry Pepsi Max. And we got a massive big slab of um, sparkling water as well so all we got this time was two bottles of the raspberry pepsi max because i've already got one in the cupboard and we got one bottle of the sugar-free watermelon flavored water for brook for school because we've got plenty in the cupboard of that as well crisps and treats now um we've got abby's knickknacks look at this nice little dinky packet so it's 32% less packaging but the same packs inside it and that is much better looking compared to this kind of bag that it was in before. But these are mine, look, Johnny's onion ring. Oh, I don't know if you get these down south or not but they are amazing. I love Johnny's onion rings. I've not seen them for ages and when I saw them in Asda I was like, I have to have them. I don't know what they are calorie wise actually. Per 100 grams, 540. Five and it's 15 grams let's work that out yeah it's whatever <laughs> okay so I just cheated and used my calculator it works out at just under 82 calories a pack which isn't too bad but yeah they are just three 15 gram packs but sometimes that's all you need out of some crisps treat wise Brooke got her favorite chunky peanut butter Kit Kats the girls both got a packet of Freddo's each this is Standard every week. Brooke gets time outs for school for a packed lunch. Abby likes a pack of twirls. And the Granny Annie said to me, Oh, when you're there, will you get me some fudge? And I was like, Oh, Mrs. Tilly's fudge. I love this fudge. But I have to say, I'm kind of in the huff with Mrs. Tilly because I found out recently that Mrs. Tilly isn't actually a person, it's a guy who makes it. And they come from Tilly Coutry, so that's where the Tilly comes from. So there isn't actually a Mrs Tilly. So I was very disappointed when I found that out, Mrs Tilly. It's very misleading. <laughs> but I wasn't disappointed enough to not buy it. So yeah, I got a pack for me and a pack for Granny Annie. Just love this stuff. It's amazing. Right, it's just the non-food items next. And then I'll show you what I got from the butcher. 
Right, finally, the non-food items. I got two packs of kitten food. We got the Whiskers, which is still £3.50. Felix have put theirs up to £3.75. They were £3.50 the same as the Whiskers in Asda. Um, and I got a pack of the Asda Tiger Kitten. They're down to £2.20. They were £2.50. So I usually get one of the cheaper brand and one of the, the superior brand, as you may say. Probably exactly the same stuff made in the same factory. You know what these things are like. I got a pack of greaseproof baking paper, which I'm always using. I got some deodorant. I was needing some roll-on, and this nippy of black and white was down to 40 pence. And I was like, yep, that'll do. Roll-on is roll-on as far as I'm concerned. Right, I got some Fix-A-Dent Plus. I was needing my tooth glue. So, yeah, none of them works properly for me. I can't have my teeth in when I'm eating, but it's enough to keep them in while I'm talking. I was needing shampoo, so I've tried a few different ones recently and I've not been very happy. So I've gone back to my old faithful, the Tresemme Cleanse and Replenish Deep Cleansing Shampoo. That one seems to work best for me. Jack was needing shaving gel finally and the Gillette Fusion 5 was £2.25 for one or two for £3. So that was a no-brainer. We picked up two of them. So that was everything from Asda and that came to... £76.98 today, which wasn't bad, but bear in mind we didn't get any meats or anything. We then went to the butcher. We decided to support our local butcher for a wee change, so let me show you what we got. I'm saying I'm going to show you, but to be fair, it's all in packets, so you'll probably not see, but you'll get an idea. So we got a ham loin that I'm just going to put in the slow cooker. This is... Mm. Oh, steaks. We've got two steaks for a tenner and they look lovely and juicy. They look really, really nice. These are Guinness burgers. Now, they had them in pork as well. Apparently, it's a new seasoning that's just on the market, the Guinness seasoning, and it's meant to be really, really tasty. So we thought, oh, we'll give that a go. Look, it looks really weird. Um, but we'll give it a go and we'll see what it's like. we got some Chinese pork uh, steaks. got two of them and some buffalo chicken steak no buffalo chicken breasts and um so all of that came to about 20 odd pound 26 pounds i think which wasn't bad considering we got two steaks as well so overall it was about 110 pound that i spent which is my usual um and it is nice to support a local butcher now and again we're just needing to shake things shake things up a bit we're getting a bit sick of eating the same things over and over again so yeah that's what we went for this week i hope you have enjoyed this if so please hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone. Bye!